Welcome to the Cultural District. I'm Veronica Corpus of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust, your guide to what's happening in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh. Come with me as we go behind the scenes and backstage to all the performances, places, and with the people who make your Cultural District a premier arts and entertainment destination. Let's talk with Ted Pappas of the Pittsburgh Public Theater to find out what's on deck this month at the O'Reilly. Thanks so much, Ted, for taking the time to sit down and talk with us today. Great pleasure. Thanks for having me. So what's happening this month at the Public Theater? This month in March, we have on our stage Lifetimes 3, a wonderful comedy from Broadway. I, I urge everyone to come and enjoy themselves. It's all about a dinner party, cocktails, dinner, dessert. So have cocktails, dinner, and dessert, and then come and see the show. What are some of the reasons you selected this play for the season? I, I love this play. She's a wonderful writer, Yasmina Reza, who wrote Art. She's a great, great playwright, and I just think it's great to have a Broadway comedy in the season. Uh, it, it's, it's full of laughs, and it's a really smart, sophisticated show. We're really looking forward to, to the audiences enjoying it. Sweet Charity, the classic Bob Fosse musical, and it's coming here starring Molly Ringwald. Someone loves me! The Wall Street Journal calls it a blast, and USA Today raves exhilarating dancing. Could see me now. Sweet Charity, call for tickets today. Christopher Hahn of the Pittsburgh Opera is here to share with us what's taking place this month at the Benetton Center for the Performing Arts. In March, Pittsburgh Opera will be performing Mozart's whimsical and enchanting The Magic Flute. The Magic Flute is, in fact, a universal story. It's the story of a, a young man who is on the threshold of becoming an adult. Um, and uh, it's a fable, it's a fairy story. I mean, he's a young prince from a far off land. He comes into this world which is ruled by a wise king, Zarastro. So it's, it's about kings and queens, princes and princesses, and uh, some bad guys. One of the most charming scenes in, in The Magic Flute is a scene involving uh, this very magic flute that uh, Tamino plays, and out of the woods come all sorts of creatures, all sorts of animals, um, and it's a scene very much loved by children, of course. It's sort of a growing up opera, a maturation. It's something that human beings are always fascinated by. We've all, we all have been through it or are going through it, and the trials and tribulations of working things out is the story. And it's, uh, it's, it's very sweet, it's very charming, uh, but it's very accessible. Treat yourself to an evening of music for music lovers. The Fresh Air Music of Mannheim Steamroller, created by Grammy Award winner Chip Davis, featuring 21 hits from eight gold albums. It's the music that made Mannheim Steamroller famous. The Fresh Air Music of Mannheim Steamroller. Be sure to catch this rare live engagement. Let's talk with Yuling Chang of the Pittsburgh Symphony to learn what's happening this month at Heinz Hall. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me here. I'm excited. The month of March is full of music at Heinz Hall. Tell us about some of the Mellon Grand Classic performances we can expect to see. It's another busy month at Heinz Hall. We have Mellon Grand Classics concerts every weekend. The second weekend of March, our endowed guest conductor chair, Mary Kianowski, will be performing with violinist Yulia Fisher. And I'm personally excited because Yulia Fisher has really made quite a name for herself in the world. She's a young violinist. She's being projected as becoming one of the legendary violinists in the world, and she'll be performing Beethoven's Violin Concerto. The third weekend of March is our Spanish Nights. 
conductor Rafael Frubeck de Burgos will come back and it's an all Spanish program with guitarist Pepe Romero. So we'll be doing a lot of flamenco music. It'll be a great program. We saw a funny, funny musical called Alter Boys. We got the Alter Boys. Holy hit. Direct from New York, it's the award-winning musical comedy Alter Boys. We are the Alter Boys. This award-winning and totally original new musical is 90 minutes of pure delight. Alter Boys will have the whole family laughing and singing along. All oh, my expectations were fulfilled. <laughs> we're gonna alter your mind. We're outside the Benetton Center for the Performing Arts, where Harris Ferris is here to tell us all about this month's productions of the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater. In March, the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater will be performing for the first time ever at the Byam Theater. What can we expect to see in this warm and intimate setting? The Biome gives us an opportunity to get our public up close to our, the exquisite artistry of our dancers, something that you might not experience to the same effect at, at a larger theater. And the choreography, of course, has been selected to suit that setting. There'll be three Pittsburgh premieres, one of which is, will be a world premiere by Etta Cox. She's a jazz vocalist here, when you know of her. Also on the program, uh, Sal Aiello's Clowns and Other Dances, as well as Dennis Nahat's Moments, and that's with music by Felix Mendelssohn. Find out what's happening in the heart of the cultural district by selecting the Pittsburgh Arts Channel of the Your Town section on Comcast On Demand. For more information and tickets, call 412-456-6666 or visit us at culturaldistrict.org.